A very good morning, students. We are in our practical lecture, and this will be lecture number three. And today we will try to cover the map number five and six. Okay, so this is the question of map number five. A thin vertical scroll seam outcrops at point P, and its strike is in east-west direction. Trace the outcrop. Describe the topography of the area. Comment on the trend of the outcrop. Okay, so this is the question. So you can see here, this is the map which is having a direction along the left hand side, and there is a scale mentioned here. And here is the point P, which is uh, mentioning that the outcrop is appearing at this point. Okay, so we have to solve this map. To solve this, as you know, the formation is vertical, so the outcrop will be a straight line, right? This is the, just like our previous map, map number four. We did the same like. So the outcrop will be a straight line. And in the question also, they are mentioned it as the point is appearing in point P and having a east-west trend. So the straight line should be having a trend of east-west, and that should be crossing at this point P. Okay, so this is why we have to draw a line which is like east-west, just like this here, and that should be passing at this point. Okay, so this is the requirement to this is the way to solve this map. Okay, so as usual, what we have to do is we have to use the two set squares. The right angle triangle should be parallel to the north line, and we are, we have to use the next set square as the base. Okay, then we have to trace this uh, parallel line in the point P. So we have to move the right angle triangle just uh, along the base of the next set square that, is, that we had kept as base, right? So after moving it uh, just by crossing the point P, we have to draw a straight line, right? Just like this, we have to move it and we have to draw a straight line. And this line is called as a reference line. So we have to mention it as N, which indicates this line is parallel to the northern line. Okay, so this is the very first step. So in the previous case, what we did is the outcrop is parallel to north south. So we just draw a line and that's it, the map is over. But here the trend is east west. So we have to trace the north south line first, and from this north south line, we have to trace the east west. Okay, so for that, what we have to use, do is we have to use the protector, and there is a 90 degree angle, right? So what we have to do is you have to keep a point there in 90 degree. Okay, and that's it. After this, what we have to do is we have to connect this uh, 90 degree point and the outcrop point P, and that will be your outcrop. Is that clear? So this is just like our previous map. The only thing is we have to trace it in east west line. So what we did is we had traced the north-south line first and from that north-south line we used 90 degree as you know the relation between north and east is 90 degree and south-west or north-west anything the angle is 90 degree so we kept it as 90 degree and draw a straight line so that is showing the vertical cold seat here is that clear so one second when we are discussing about the topography this is a v-shaped contour and having a lowest value at the center so this will be a valley okay and if there is a river running, that will be running in this line from say northeast to southwest. Okay, so that is the overall trend of the slope, slope trend of this region. And if you are talking about the outcrop trend, as you know, it is a vertical formation. The outcrop will be a straight line that will be having a line parallel to the east. That is a trend of the rock formation. That's it. So which is quite easier. So we have solved map number five. We will move to map number six, which is a bit difficult. That is a bit different from the map number five. The thing is that a thin coal seam dipping at an angle of 4 degree 42 minute in the direction of north 35 east. That is outcrop at point P. Trace the outcrop, describe the topography of the area, comment on the trend of the outcrop. So far we have dealt with uh, horizontal formation and vertical formation which is quite easy right. But now we are dealing with the inclined formation. So when the formation is inclined you cannot expect uh, uh, contour parallel outcrop or a straight line outcrop. So the outcrop will be having some different pattern or direction. So that we are going to solve in this map. Okay, is that clear? Okay. So how to solve this question? As you know, they have given it as an uh, inclined formation. As usual, what we have to do is we have to first trace the northern arrow. Okay. Then we have to point out the direction of the dip. Okay. Then we have to mark the true dip amount and we have to find the horizontal equivalent okay and after finding the horizontal equivalent we have to trace that in the as an outcrop here so let us do step one two layer just like that so you can follow along with me right so as usual we have to do is first we have to trace uh, the northern line using two set squares okay so as you know this we will be doing just like this and after this we have to mark the northern arrow which indicates it is a reference line okay 
So next thing what we are given in the question is that dip direction is north 35 east which simply means if you move from north towards east at 35 degree the formation is dipping in this side okay so how to mark it so what we have to do is we have to use the protector okay so this is north and this is east so we have to use the outer circle values as you are moving from north to east and here it is zero so we have to trace the outer circle values okay if you are dealing say south to east then we can use the inner circle as it starts from south and the zero is starting from south here in the inner circle so we can use this for this case the direction starts from north to east so the number zero starting in north is the outer circle so in 35 degree in the outer circle we have to point so that, that is the point we have kept here right so this is the trace of the dip direction so we have pointed it and what i have to do is we have to trace this line here okay and we have to mark it as td that simply means this is the true dip direction as you know there is already a line which is which will be in future we may get confused so we have to mention it as north which is a reference line and we have to mark it as a true dip so we can use this in terms of solving the question okay so this is the true dip and as you know when you are talking about the true dip you know the relation between the two true dip and strike there, right and that is 90 degree so we can draw a strike here with the help of the values from the true dip so for that we have to keep the protector once again okay and you know the relation between the dip and the strike is 90 degree so if it is 35 here we may have to add 90 from this point to get the strike so 35 plus 90 will be 125 so we can keep a point here which is 125 degree okay and from here to the point p we can draw a line and this is the very first strike of this map is that clear so we are drawing the strike and not the outcrop just like a previous case so what we are doing here is we have marked the true dip direction we have marked the strike from the true dip direction and this is the very first strike and as you know one thing very clearly that there will be an outcrop that is point p that will only appear when the value of the contour and the strike are equal remember this rule this is never change in your map that is the equal value of contour and strike will meet at the outcrop or you will be getting an outcrop only when there is a equal value of contour and strike meets okay so in this map they had given the contour values and they had given the outcrop here and there is a strike just passing at this point so we can simply say the value of the strike is 450 degree there should not be any confusion here right so this is the basic rule in map so never forgot this rule that is you will be getting an outcrop only when the strike value and the contour value are equal so here we are getting an outcrop and we are getting a contour here so from that rule we can keep it as 450 as the strike is passing through that point is that clear so this is the very first strike and not the outcrop so we have to trace the outcrop hereafter so how to draw the second third fourth strikes right so that will be a question in your mind so for that we have to use the slope formula you remember this formula that we have discussed in our uh, field geology theory right so dip sorry dip formula so dip is equal to strike interval by horizontal equivalent into scale so the dip is the amount of inclination of the formation and the strike interval is the values between the first strike and the second strike so that will be generally equal to the contour value so here the contour interval is 50 degree so definitely here the strike difference will be 50 degree okay so the, the strike interval will be 50 degree so this is fixed as you know and you have to use the scale which is given in this uh, here one centimeter equal to 200 meter okay so here we know the dip you know the strike interval you know the scale what you don't know is the horizontal equivalent that is the horizontal distance between the first and second strike that is the consecutive strikes so if you know the horizontal equivalent we can point it here and we can draw the next strikes and we can complete the map right so what we have to do is we have to cross multiply it. that is we can keep the dip here and the horizontal equivalent here as you don't know the horizontal equivalent we can keep it is here as it is and you know the dip so we kept it here right so as i said earlier strike interval is 50 degree due to the contour interval is 50 degree and dip will be mentioned it as degree so we have to use tan theta that we have discussed many times in our field geology theory then the scale as you see it is in centimeter and meter so we have to convert into same unit 
so we are convert this meter into centimeter so that will be 1 by 20000 okay so by tan 4 degree 42 minute value is 0 0.08 so what we get is 0 0.031 meter or 3.1 centimeter okay is that clear so what we have to do is we have to place 3.1 centimeter spacing from for one strike and other strike there may be doubt how it comes meter or centimeter right so let me tell you here the scale is 1 centimeter by uh, 20,000 centimeter right so the centimeter and centimeter will be cancelled right and here what you are using is strike interval which is 50 meter okay so as these two units are crossed uh, that is uh, class cancelled here only one unit is there that is meter that is 50 meter right so that is why we are using meter here is that clear so that is the basic math so we are using it as meter and the answer if you convert the meter to centimeter that will be 3.1 centimeter so right now what we have to do is we have to keep 3.1 centimeter spacing from this point in both the direction within the map right so that's that like like that i kept one two and three map points here right so these are the points that is the fourth point is here so these are the four points that is spaced as 3.1 centimeter so what we have to do next is we have to draw parallel strike lines which is just parallel to the first strike remember that all the strikes are always parallel okay and except in the case of folding or faulting if there is no any deformation then there will be no any change in the strike direction there will be a dip directional change only if there is a fold or fault or whatever it is and if there is no any deformation there will there will be also no any change in the dip direction and dip amount okay so with this calculation we kept the values here we draw the strikes okay and as you know this is the true dip direction which simply means if we move in this direction the dip val value will be reducing right that is the meaning true dip right and if you move in the opposite direction the dip value should be increasing that is we are moving higher side okay so if this is 450 and if you are moving towards this side what will happen and you know the strike it was 50 so this will be 500 forward by 550 then 600 and if you move in the forward direction that is towards the true dip what happened the value will be 400 is that clear okay so we are draw all the strikes in this in the map and we may mark the values so what is the next step the next step that is the first tool i have mentioned earlier is whenever there is a equal value of strike and contour meets there will be a outcrop is that here so for that we have to do is we have to trace all the equal value of strike on contour so you can see here this is a 500 meter strike and this is the 500 meter contour these two meet set here and here so we had marked the two points and here is a 450 meter strike and here is a 450 meter contour and the question they are marked the first outcrop here so we had marked the second outcrop here is that clear so same value of strike and same value of contour should be marked and 400 there is no any contour which is crossing the strike so we don't have any outcrop here and for 550 we have only one 550 crossing here another 550 is somewhere higher so we cannot plot in this mark in this side so now we are getting one two three four and five outcrop traces so what we have to do is we have to complete this outcrop okay so remember the rule once again when there is a equal value of strike and contour meets there will be outcrop in any except other any other cases you cannot expect any outcrop to cross the strike or contour that is the basic rule so what we have to do is we can start the outcrop from here this will be your first trace and here will be a second trace then we have to go through this and you should not touch this contour as well as this strike as i mentioned earlier there should not be crossing of any strike or contour and until unless they have the same value so you should not cross here so you have to be passing between this two gap then once again we have to cross this point then here is one more point and here is one more point and this is just your reference line so just crossing the outrop with this reference line is not a big deal okay so the outrop will be just like this is that clear so this is what the result is so this is how we have to solve a inclined formation which is having a dip that is given under question we are trace the outrop so this is the very first a bit difficult step in the map if you can follow this 
very well. You can solve any type of math because this is the basic in terms of integral formation. So once you get a good idea and uh, clear cut idea in solving this map, you can solve any type of map from here out. Okay, is that clear? If you have any doubt, you just mention the comment section. I can clear it in once again. Okay. So for now, this is over. We have traced the outro. And they are asking for the topography. As you know, the topography is V in shape. The contours are V in shape and having a lowest value at the center. So this will be a valley and uh, water will be running in this direction. And one more thing they are asked is the outcrop pattern, right? So, so far we know that is a horizontal formation having a parallel to the contour, right? And vertical formation will be having a straight line. Here it is an incline formation. And you know, remember V rule, right? So in V rule, we are discussed about this thing that is the dip is in north east direction and the slope as I mentioned earlier it is the southwest direction. So according to V rule, the dip and slope are, are in opposite direction. Then what do you get? You will get that the outcrop will be pointing in the upstream direction. Do you remember this recall the field geology theory? So this is the answer. So this is how we have to solve this question. And the outcrop trend also shows the dip and slope are in opposite direction and once again the V rule is proved here. Is that clear? Hope you got clear in this uh, map. If you have any doubt, just mention in the comment section. We will try to do once again the same map in a detailed way. And thank you.